have been first. But you will maybe for a say Christians, but they represent some else. They gotta fall. The guys that are acting they gotta fall. You mean people that are using Christ in a false representation? But they're doing this, that, and the third. So a person can't give Such as, give me an example. I can't do that, but check it out. You gotta give it. Check it out. Anything. Anything. Right. Let's take for instance. I'm a Christian, right? Okay. I'm, I'm, I say I'm a Christian. Say if I say I'm a Christian. Right. Right. And then, what just for me saying that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Means I got some type of doctrine with me. Just like if you do anything else, you got some kind of doctrine with you. Okay. Right? Then you go on and learn, then you go on and learn and learn and learn and learn, 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 you realize that Christianity wasn't even formed until of maybe. I'm going to say 600 years. That's too many years, but give or take, it's going to be 600 rounded off to the marathon. Mm -hmm. Christianity is 600 years old. Okay. All the religions are 5,000, 10,000 years old, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So somewhere, even what was being practiced was being manipulated by something else. So then, you being in that era where you learned that, you see, you learn it while you're in that era, by all means. You know? Okay. But why? Because you have a brain and you have doctrine and stuff. So don't stop there. Mm -hmm. Because you was taught one thing and now you're going to say, all right, this is it. Hasn't so, has has the devil been fighting against God since the beginning of yeah. time? And didn't he try to exalt himself above God? So no matter what the rules of God are, Satan has tried to take the place of God, which is what's happening right now with an a anti-God, anti-Christ, anti-Holy Spirit regiment that's going on. You understand what I'm saying? Bad want to take over take it, 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 good. and make it look as bad as good He's and good as bad. That's what it's like with Islam cutting off the heads of Christians, right? But yet they pray five times a day. No disrespect to Muslims that don't do it because they're Muslims that say they don't do it. No, I'm saying. Well, I say, what? Right, well, that's what I'm saying. But they, why do you tell you you worship that which you don't know? So anybody that's praying to God that they've never seen them, see, watch this. Uh -huh. They don't know. If you acknowledge God that's sitting in front of you right now, mm -hmm. then you can say that. Okay, watch this. Then you, but, 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 why, but why this? Watch this. Sitting in front of you with a beard. Right, but why this? I don't know about that, but I see what you're saying. But why this? Anything that anybody, even Satan, is going to manifest himself. And if people are looking for, if they're looking for signs and wonders, right? This is what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. They're going to show you a sign. They're going to show you a wonder. Right, right, but let's say with that, Matthew 24, 24. Jesus said in the last day there'll be false Christ. Which means they're going to represent Christ, but in a false way. Nah, no, no, it don't. False Christ. See, 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 see. What, what that scripture that you just said means something different to me. All right, well, let me say what it means see, to it me. It means to me individually. Huh? Individually. What are you talking about? See, we read different. We hear, we just, we understand. Yeah, there's a right way and a wrong way, but let me hear what you hear. your way is right to you. Then your way is right to you. I know, I feel like that. I know the right way, but... It's not, it wasn't ever taught. Well, rather than go through that, so what's, right your, what's your interpretation of Matthew 24, 24, when Jesus said, in the last days there should be false Christ, false prophets, and yeah, there was, hold on, let me finish the scripture. And lying. You what was going on in the present. Right, in other words, what you, and, 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 right. So in answering that question, you're saying that Christ had to know because he spoke it, right? Yeah, he knew that I got it. He was doing it, ain't know what they were doing. Exactly. Now watch this. Now this is where Islam comes in. Islam didn't come before Christianity. It came after. You understand what I'm saying? In fact, they. But remember, watch what that's what I'm pulling out. Because I gotta, I gotta show and prove what I'm saying. It's a young, it's a young religion. Christian. Well, it's a young religion. It's a young religion. Christian. It's a young religion. Islam is not. Islam came eight, about 800 to 1,000 years. It's yes. more than Christianity. No, it's after. It came after Christianity. Christianity it, is 600 years old. Listen, you're, I don't years. know what your dates is. I'm not getting into dates. Right, right. But Islam is right. 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 Listen to what I'm saying. 
Islam is after Christianity. Because how can Islam supposed to correct something that it was before? It's after Islam. Muhammad came oh, after. Said, I mean, it's supposed to go like that. No, listen. You you're, not, you're talking too fast. You're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. Listen. In order for you to correct something, the whatever you are correcting has to be in front of you. That, no. What they're saying is that Christianity is a makeup of what was already... We're not there. asking you what they're saying it is. I'm showing you in the time That's fact. You're, you're not listening. listening. In the I time... You in the, but you're not hearing me. The time factor in order for you to correct them. When you teach a... That's correct, a good argument, but that is... You know, listen. Not you're good. not listening. Not, when when you teacher, when the teacher corrects the paper... I'll smack you. Dog out myself. All right, well, get ready to smack yourself. The dog do you out yourself. But it's a shame that you can even consider yourself having dog do you in you. You're a savage. You can tell me about this. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, I'm took you the metaphor. You don't have dog do you in you? No, I'm not a dog. I know what you can say. Right, okay. Here we go. Raise the law. But watch this. Listen to what I'm saying. When you're in school, the only way the teacher can check you and correct you is first to see where you at so they'll know whether you're right or wrong. So what you have to do you have to pre be in front of them. You feel what I'm saying? So in order for Islam to correct Christianity It would have to have been first. No, Christianity would have to be first. So Islam would come behind it and correct it. But they're not correcting it anyway because they How can you just agree with the point that I just said? Love came from Chris. Watch this. Let me tell you something. So they would have to try to correct Chris. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Chris correct the blood because I made you I, and you try to correct me. You don't need right, No, no. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying, but you didn't hear what I'm saying. But then you, what you said was correct in that ideology. Now, the old now. So the crypt is so it's a, right. So if blood come out of the crypt, then crypt is over, right? Listen, we both can't talk at the same time. Now, if if, if you know, I don't need you to help me to think. I need you to listen to what I'm saying. Now, what you gonna say from your own mind? I'm gonna consider what you say. But you helping me think. I mean, it's a metaphor because I can say no. You're not gonna. No, I'm saying it's a metaphor to me. Because you're not going to help me think, because I'm going to think already. This is what I do. However, when you talk, I'm going to respond, which I am going to think. So then that will make you metaphorically correct. Because what you say, I'm not going to talk just for talking. I'm going to respond to what you're saying. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let's go back to what you said. If Crips were first. No, we're going to we're gonna come back to that. But, but we're using this as a metaphor. Well, if Crips if, if Crip came first, if Crips came, I don't care what they are. If Crips, anything that's in, anything that's in a Crip is lost. It's in bondage. Any Crip. Any type of Crip. A Crip is, is, is okay. So, but watch this. Listen, listen. They don't own nothing. They don't own nothing. Crips own nothing. You know what I'm saying? The bottom line is, this is what it is. Because if that be the case, that's the case. You know what I mean? I, you, I don't. They now they don't call themselves quicks. They, they call themselves. Say, they call themselves police officers all over the world, and they were and, and they were there. They were but they were there. But watch what I'm about to say. You going crazy? Are you all right? The flag was red, white, and blue before any of this. Okay. And the colonies on the flag represent the red, white, and blue, right? So whether you red, white, or blue, you part of the game, whether you want to be or not, right? So now let's go back to the Christian, Crip, whatever, right? And the devils, God, whatever. My point, whether what I was bringing was, of course the older mm-hmm. is supposed to teach the younger. Right. Supposed to. Like a father is supposed to teach his son, parents. Teaching the children. But, but hold it, but hold it. But, but what I'm saying is, Christian, you're talking, you talk as parents, Christians being the parents, Muslims being the children, of course the children don't think they can be taught by the parents. I think you said it, right? No, I said it. No, I said it the way I wanted to say it. Christians being the parents. Who's first? Christians. Before Muslims. Christians. Show who. 
the Bible and Jesus, with who is God. Not the Bible. The Bible wasn't out yet. The Bible been right, Who was out first? So like Islam is new compared to Christianity. Why? Because it was 800 years after. It was eight, uh, like, yeah, yeah look at history. Look at history, history, man. I, I do this. I do this, man. All right, let's go here. Go there. Who was older? Christianity, Christianity is older. Or, or, Christianity is older. Christianity is older than Islam. Okay, but but even so, but even so, Christianity is older because Islam has stole its its legitimacy. Listen, but it stole its legitimacy from uh, Judaism and Christianity. I'm a show and prove. How in Islam? How in the Quran is Jesus in the Quran? There's no Muhammad in the Bible. But there's Jesus in the Quran. There's no Muhammad like Surah chapter 61 and 6 says that uh, Jesus was the messenger of Allah and that he's supposed to um, make the pave the way for Ahmed. The Quran is new. I've just been telling but you that for how long? Huh? Ten more two of them guys. You know them guys? I don't care about what they talk about. Islam. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. Was it Islam the way Muhammad, who was a thief and a robber? Muhammad is a false god. He's a well, not god. He wasn't a god. He was a prophet, a false prophet. Same thing. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Islam. Islam no mean the same thing to us. Well, and Islam for some and Islam for the nation of God, the earth would mean I self Lord and man. The saying that the earth goes to church, mad Yeah, they just go to learn the knowledge. But they're not for it. You can't say you know nothing if you ain't been everywhere. You can't say Okay. All right, but they but they doing that but they doing the same thing the Muslims are doing. That's called infiltration. So they infiltrate to learn to go again. No, they don't believe it. It's not to go again, it's to make love. Make love. Right, I'm going to show you why. What? Well, that you can call out reasons why we should be together. But if I don't know you about can't. You, watch this. If I don't know about your culture, I can't give you no reason why you and me can walk together. You can't walk together. Except they agree. Why? That's biblical, though. But you Aim is three and three. Where did it come from? From the Bible. So, let me ask you a question. This is a real serious question. And that's the prophet. Do you think the Bible is a hundred percent written so that you can understand it? Yes. No, because not, we not. just quoted the scripture. It's not though. What was that first thing? Listen, it is. Second Timothy. We now understand it. Like study. To show yourself. And then we gotta bow ourselves to God. No, you killed it right now. You just said study. Study, study. study means that it don't say exactly what it means. That's why you got to say exactly what it means. No, listen. I got to say it. says exactly. Listen. 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 It says exactly what it means, but it doesn't mean that you and I may be in the right state of mind to understand what it means. It has been that way. It's been that way. No. You know why? It has been that way that we both could understand what it means. If we was in the right state of mind. No, the wrong hands. No, we were was born. Saying. No, we was born wrong. We were born in sin. Psalm 51 and 5. And shaping in iniquity. So we don't think like our father the devil. Remember Jesus said? He said, you not of, of, of my father, God. He said, you of your father, the devil. And he was a liar from the beginning. And when he speaks of a lie, he speaks of his own. So what will the devil's children do? They will be have learned to lie. Think that a lie is the truth, be walking in a lie, thinking that the lie is the truth, and walking lies and, and spread them as if it's the gospel truth. Like you got professional lies. They tell lies all day. This is why Proverbs 16 and 25 and Proverbs 14 and 12 says, There's a way that seems right to man, but the end is death. It's right. So we killing ourselves because we think we live in. Who thinks those, of us, those of us that are not born again, who have not come you to Jesus. Said, the ones who think they correct the ones Right, who born. never came to Jesus as the master of their soul. By surrendering. Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come unto me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it do. What I'm saying is, 
to come unto me? Yeah. Well, what does that mean? It means come submit. I'm trying to say my people, I'm not going to say submit. Come unto Jesus. Well, don't I'm tell them that. I'm going to tell them to come to Jesus. So, yeah, and that's where people are making me mistakes because they're putting their self in the place of Jesus. And you could never be Jesus. No. You, you have, have to put yourself in the place you of Jesus. Your, all right. Who do you think is this Bible? Oh, oh, what? Hold it. Watch what I'm saying. You I can't be say, like But Jesus. you got to put Jesus up Jesus said, be ye like me. Yes. He said, be like me. He okay. said, be ye uh -huh. like me. He said, be like me. But first you got to come to him to be no, like him. No, he didn't even say that. He didn't say that. Matthew, let me as I am. Right. That means come to him. Or I be changed. As you are. But you gotta come. You have him. not. But you gotta me come to him. You can't. You, if you don't submit, you ain't come to him. But you gotta, you gotta learn. You gotta learn. Well, you gotta learn. He said, "Come unto me and learn of me. Learn of me. Learn of me." He's the Savior. Just be as I am. Right. But you gotta come to him to so be like him. But so that means get in the Word. I'm gonna show you something. Get in the Word. So slow. Get in the Word. Yeah, we keep running around telling people to be like. Jesus, like, like, is, like, he's a person. He is a person. He's not a person. All right, well, what is he then? Is he a man? He was, man. But is he a man right now? Right now, he's sitting on the right hand of majesty and power. Was he he's ever a, a man? Yes, yes, yes. No, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Well, then you might as well close your Bible up. Well, he came as man. He called him the son of man. He came in the person of man. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. And God said, I'll send you a sign. A virgin shall bring forth a son. What does a son become? A man. What I'm going to do. I'll take it to a better degree. How can you do that? You asked the question. You came on the question. Well, bring it down there. Because the question was, was Jesus going to be a man? God was not a man, Jesus but can, but, but, all right, but now, but can God, you went, to, you went, listen, listen, you went from the Old Testament that said, listen, listen, no. right, because you, you got to, you got to put the scripture in its context. You use the Old Testament context, and the Old Testament, in Ecclesiastes 9 and 5, there was no hell that, that Solomon understood. But in the New Testament, there's a hell that we all can understand. So when you took that scripture from the Old Testament, the hell is that? don't leave me out of my, don't try to take me out of the context of what I'm saying. The context was, you said, God is not a man that he should lie. And then the finished said, neither he's the son of man that he should repent. But he became man that does not lie. And he became the son of man. Yeah. Well, well, well like all, all that, because he's the king. First Timothy, first Timothy three sixteen. You're not, you know, you you're good at trying to throw, throw throw things off. You ain't kill nothing because you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to change the subject. It's like while I'm talking, you do the same thing women do. When you're talking to a woman and they get caught, they go into something else. And you can't read, you can't read directly, right? So don't don't talk directly. You said that Jesus, I know you're a man. That's why I don't use women's tactics. No, don't use devil exactly. Uh, actually, in the beginning, the woman didn't learn from man. She learned from the devil. Eve did, Eve did not learn from Adam. Eve did not learn from Adam. He was, oh, he was masculine. He was masculine. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're not going to stay here all day. Uh, all right. Well, 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 but, well, he didn't say he. He didn't say she. Okay. No doubt. So anyway, going back to our point. So the scripture that says that God is not a man, that he should lie. But well, hold it. And let's deal with that word. It didn't say that he's not a man. It didn't say he's not a man, that he should lie. I'm the one who you realize that. What? Yeah, I'm the one who brought you to that. You brought me to nothing. I just brought it to myself. I ran around. You been years ago. You come on, man. Stop, stop. You, 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 you good at trying to. Take people out of their zone. You don't now, I'm not interested in years ago. We're but talking today. Said I said, God is not a man that he should lie. It's mean, not saying mean, that he's not a man. Because you have me. Because, listen, because you have and I'm telling you why I'm saying I'm showing you why I'm saying it, though. Because Jesus, which is God in the flesh, became man. And you asked me the original question was, did Jesus ever become a man? And I said yes. And you said no. And you said no. And, you said, no. and I said you are. You keep trying to throw me somewhere else. I'm not going nowhere. Else. You say. You I'm gonna answer the question from the scripture. First Timothy three sixteen. First Timothy three sixteen. Without an argument, great is the mystery. You can't answer it. 
But the scripture answers. You can't answer it. Because the Bible says, 1 Timothy 3, 16, without an argument, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. For God was Joe, man. Joe, Joe. I'm in Timothy. Why am I but going to go? You know what? First Timothy three sixteen. First Timothy three sixteen. First Timothy three sixteen. Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. For God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, preached unto the nations, believed on in the world, and received up in the glory. Where did God? Where did God do that at? Through Jesus Christ, being covered to fruition, coming to appearance. That's what manifests when, no, when, no, when something no, is manifested, it becomes where no, you can see it. Get your phone out and tell me what manifests. You got the phone in your hand. When, if you manifest something, you bring it forth. All right, let's say bring it forth. But you're just playing with semantics. You know what I'm saying. I said the same thing. You bring it forth. You bring it into where it can be observed, or somehow you can touch it, feel it. You know it now. You know it. Well, all right, well, God manifests. All right, well, when you're trying to take one scripture, it's not about quoting the scripture. You got to stay in the context. So now we're talking about the question. We're staying in the context of did Jesus become man? Did God become man? Yes, he did. Because he became man in Jesus. Where? Which he become the son. Was he a man before Jesus? No. What? No. No. But he, but he made man in his image. He never called Adam God. He said, let us simplify Did he have to? Listen, man, you ask a question. Say in the context. Genesis 1, 27. In the beginning, God created man. He said, let us. Make man in our image. He didn't say let us make a God. He said let us make man That's in our God image. Though, it don't matter what you're God saying. God the Lord is right, right, you. Right, well, That's where people mess up. People don't understand the word. I don't care. They you think, might be one of them they people. Think when he said let us make them, watch it. Hmm. They think let us make man in our own image means that other men wasn't making other men. What? Say that again? They think that. Who say that? You saying that we don't have no validity to that. What are we mean? dealing with the scripture? The only thing you ever seen in this world was the man and the animal. Right? No. What are you talking about? No. Well, first we're dealing about. with the scripture. Genesis 127 that says, let us, man was made in the end of God. Us is the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. First John 5 and 7. There are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. And these three are one. Come on, man. You ain't you. Who are you talking to? Uh, you got right there. Yeah, you have to be able to clarify more than that. What do, what do you need me to clarify? 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 Why do you need me to clarify? What do you need me to clarify? What do you need me to clarify? It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You ain't got nobody standing here. All right, you don't, number one, mm -hmm. at the time again, what is one in one when you have nobody standing here? It's a matter of mathematical equation that has come to fruition. Right, so now, you have to be able to see one and one is two. You didn't know one and one was two. They told you yeah, one and one is two. You just prove what I say. You didn't know. Okay, well, good. Well, then I just proved God. They didn't have to be there. They was God on the Oh, so now, I, 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 see, I see fathers, I see mothers, I see children, right? So I see one and one is two, meaning manifestation. So in the logic of my mind and in the spirituality of my mind, I see God. I see Jesus. I see the Holy Spirit. I see the, the fight between right and wrong. I see the fight between lies well, well, and when, truth. When is you going to put the whole, I am God. I got to do with you. I'm not God. I'm not God. I'll tell you. You're saying it, but I'm going to tell you I'm not God. Okay. I'm in the image of God. I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. Because if I was God, I know you're not known by God, but you're known by God. Okay, known by God is telling you that. Hold it, listen. Known by God is not calling you God. You're known by God. That's just like saying when you go to get credit, you're known by the banker. You're known by the credit. Now they have come into your knowledge. Yeah, it is meaning. It means that you're known by God because of what else you're doing. You took that God, you get I use an allegory that's to show you. That's for people that think it's that way. I'm going to think you, all you way, but the idea is really hear what you mean. Well, if you have a hear, you hear what I'm saying. It's not a that, But you may not hear that. Yeah. Right, and I'm so about that's to, why I know it don't mean. You ain't about the truth. 
You're about twisting the script in your own way. I'm a devil in some strong way. Then you ain't got to live on that note right there. Right. And you're the devil of the devil. Why you are you lying right now? I can't believe what you just said. I have because you're not about you're the devil. Because you're the devil. You just said it. You just confessed. You said, I'm the devil. So why would you believe what the Bible say if you were devil? You not. Your job is to try to manipulate my mind and get me to believe like you. By devils. Right. So but not necessarily. God, you can't read the Bible and take it on face value. But if you're a devil, you need to understand all right, watch right. Watch this. Get knowledge. The key thing to get is wisdom. But in all thine getting, get what? Understand. Right. Now, now that goes back to you what I said. Then, right, right. Now, so now if you get the book, now that goes. Or if you now that goes back to what I was saying originally. If, no, I'm going to use myself as an example. When I'm in a, when I'm in the apostolic organization, I'm in the holiness organization. I'm in the Baptist organization. I'm in the Catholic organization. I'm in the Methodist. Hold on, watch this. And I learn their way. But now when I start looking, now watch what the scripture say though. The scripture says, "Accept your righteousness." Exceed that of the scribes and the Pharisees, right? Mm -hmm. You will no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven, right? So now we have to look at the scribes and the Pharisees. What were they doing? They were writing books. They were religious. They were, we were talking at the same time. Don't be confused. You need a couple of minutes? I'll give you a couple of minutes. Well, let me just say this. All right, but watch this. If the scriptures say, if Jesus said, accept our righteousness, exceed that of the scribes and the Pharisees, I mean, go beyond it, right? Who ends up hanging Jesus? The religious leaders. So what do I have to do? Don't hang Jesus and don't go against his word. So don't hang Jesus and don't go against his word. Don't be like Judas. Don't be like the religious people. Yeah, they're going, they're going against him. So now that's why I represent his name. All those that deal with Jesus, that's a person. Like person or spirit. Person or spirit. Because we have a conflict. What's the conflict? Because people who worship Jesus, right? Right. Who worship God, right? Uh -huh. You can put twenty all twenty people we got right now on the same line. They all got different doctrines. Because they not behold it. Is that God for First Corinthians chapter one said we all go to Jesus for? Or is the people because they haven't submitted to Jesus? This is why it says you must be born again. Because we're all born with different fathers. Is that right? We're born again. We've got anybody that's made anybody born again. Born. You can't. you got to know what born again means. And born again means submit to Jesus. Don't submit that to the pastor. You, uh, uh, you, you got to speak in tongues too. Because that's that? part of it. What is that? That's what the children are asking. All right. Well, I'm going to answer the children. First Corinthians chapter 14. You can have the gift of speaking other languages. Arabic. Spanish, Japanese, this or that. But if you have the unknown tongue, which is the gift that God gives you to speak to God in your prayer language, in your secret closet, you, you understand what I'm saying? It, God has to give you that. You understand what I'm saying? God has to give it to you. If God don't give it to you, you won't have it. Break it down. Break it down. Uh -huh. How do God give you that? The same way he gave to me, it comes down from heaven. Oh, it's a man. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Here's a question. Here's a question. I'm talking to you. Welcome, to you. How did God give you breath? How did God give you eight legs, arms? He gives it to you through, through life. Just like when he made man. He didn't need another man because there was no other man. He made man. So how does he give you the Holy Spirit? You seek him for it. Ask, seek it not, and you'll receive. But you got to keep on seeking. How does he give you righteousness? You got to seek it. I you because you were younger, you had a time to get. All right. You know why? That's why I love her. All right. What are you, what are you talking about? All right, so now, I the, the question. Right now. This is what I'm going to give you something. Right. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 27. Mm -hmm. I mean, that Matthew 11. 11, is, 11 and 27, it says this. It says that, um, no man knows oh, I knew that the I son know. except the father. And no one will know the father except the son and to whom the son will reveal the father too. So now, as important as God is, listen to what Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty seven. 27. He said, no one knows who I am except the father. And no one knows who the father is except, except me. And I have to reveal the Father 
to that person. So meaning, even though you may be thinking the father is first, the father is going to have to draw you to the son so the son will reveal to you who the father is. Now, in, that's in Matthew 11. Now, hold on. Let me just finish this. And now, in John chapter 14, in John chapter 14, about the eighth verse, Philip said, show us the father. And then raise the father. And Jesus said, hey, buddy. He didn't say, hey, buddy. I'm just waiting. Have I been so long? Who I am? He didn't say, he didn't say, notice he didn't say, you didn't know who he is. He said, I have I been so long with you? Have I, mm -hmm. personal pronoun, but right? been so long with you? you know I've been watch this, and been you don't. Oh, watch this, right? and you don't know who I am. Uh -huh. When you see me, who do you see? The Father. You see the Father, because I'm manifesting the Father who is Spirit. He John he four twenty. Right. Right. I am. Right now, mm -hmm. Jesus. In Jesus dwells the fullness mm. of the God Godhead body. Body, in, in body form. Mm. You and I, when we submit to Jesus, mm. like John chapter 17, where he prayed before he left, he said, Father, I pray that you make them one as you and I like a are one. Exactly, like a man. Because that's what the church is. Right. Is, exactly. He's the bridegroom and the people that come into the body of Christ and receive the born again spirit of the of the bride, male or female. They ain't no homosexuals, but they in the spirit, right? Meaning, when people say I'm going to church, you can't really go to church. But if you start saying I'm going to the temple, I'm going to the synagogue, they'll be like, "What are you talking about? It's not the same. It's a parable." Because Jesus never said I went to church. He said in Matthew sixteen eighteen, "I feel." He said, "I no, he has." But he said, "I upon this rock, talking to a man, Peter, I build my church." But when he went to the synagogue, he said, I'll go to church, I'm going to the temple. In John chapter 2, it said he beat them out of the temple. They were robbing and selling. Yeah, he said, it's, right, he said, it's written that my house shall be... Also, let me you, finish the scripture. Don't even finish the scripture. That, that, you are the temple of God. When you get the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians yes, chapter 3 are. and 1 Corinthians chapter 6. When you become full of the Spirit. That's why he told me, how you all so quickly bewitched into another gospel? Because if you submit to Jesus, no other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid. Jesus Christ, who has been the rejected, has become the what? The chief cornerstone. That's a master builder. That's a master mason. Not these clowns that walk around here changing the Bible with the compass and the square. Then as they move up the ladder, they move into Luciferian doctrine and talk about a lot of rock bar, a bunch of scumbags. You know what I'm saying? A master, a master mason. That's what Paul said. Paul said in First Corinthians, I think it's three and ten. Well, this is why I'm a master builder. Now other people are going to build and call themselves masters, right? But who master what? A master of the craftsman builds on Jesus Christ. No other foundation can no man lay. Because every man is going to be tried by the fire. So even though, look at the world. The, the, fire, the fire is the world. The fire is the world and it's going to be a literal fire as well. Because watch this. The fire is now. Matthew you chapter 7. Right he says, those that build their house upon the sand. When the wind blows, the fools build their house on the sand. Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful. It looks like you're building stuff. But the one that build on Christ, on Christ, what? The solid rock. I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. You pray the Lord? Well, watch this. Though. Go ahead, I'm listening. And you got to go. All that sounds beautiful. You got a couple of minutes. Go ahead. All of that sounds beautiful. All that sounds beautiful. I got you. See, but then what we got to understand is a lot of people... Use a different doctrine. People who don't even know nothing about God. So being as though it sounds good, it sounds like this is the way to go. But in all actuality, this could be done with manipulation as well. Being as though we know when it, when it came and where it came from. The whole Jesus Christ story could be a fraud. But it would be hard to say that to somebody who followed them for uh, a certain amount of years. But the people behind it, the devil, he would have to have you to put your whole heart and your soul into something that you would not turn from. 
to keep you blinded. That's blinding you by the light. That's what that is. That's blinding you. See, Jesus is the light of the world. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say that. Mm -hmm. But it also says that Lucifer is the light there. Right, right. I'll be held Lucifer. So you got two lights already. Exactly. Now you got two. Now you got two lights. It's Illuminati. Right. Now watch this. So you got a positive Illuminati and you got a negative one. Right. But both of them think they're positive. Because those that's under Lucifer, because the statement of Lucifer is the story of the Lucifer. Of of the Lucifer is Luciferians is Lucifer didn't get kicked out of heaven. He left out of heaven because God was too, like, blah, blah, blah. He was strict. Yeah, and, and Lucifer was like, it don't need to be all like that. You trying to hide That's stuff. That's how you get God to the Exactly, exactly, exactly. And now even they lie and say, well, Lucifer is not wicked. Lucifer is great. He's God. He's blah, blah, blah. So to them, he is. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of people sell their soul to him. Because he gives them nothing. He gives them nothing, but they think it's something. Exactly. What did that young man say in the rap? I sold myself to the devil, but it's a crappy deal. But at least it came with a few toys. Yeah, man. Okay. So no, that was sold uh, to the devil, and the price is cheap. The code on his level, twice as deep. Okay, but that was Kanye West that I was quoting. I okay, think. Right. yeah. He said, "I sold my soul to the devil, but it was and it was a crappy deal." But why would he say, "But just as if it's okay"? But it came with few toys and a and a happy meal, meaning. Take the allegory from McDonald's. Oh, he's know. taking his head chopped off. Yeah, I know, know. But what would you say to DMX? Then you say what? He said, "I sold my soul to the devil, and the price is cheap." Right. He said, hey, "Yo, it's cold on this level, but it's twice as deep." Right. And why? Wow. Yeah. Everything you listen to, heavy metal, black veil rise, all these heavy metalists, all of them sing about Lucifer. You understand what I'm saying? And even when they were ah, 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 jumping up and down, mm-hmm. they, but they look like they're doing so well. Even the homosexuals, what do they call them? Yay. They seem like they're happy. Got plenty of gifts. They can do all types of stuff. But they're going against the almighty God, serving the God of this world. Not realizing that he who thinks he's something when he, he is nothing. nothing. Right. He says, when he is nothing, that means right. you ain't never going to be nothing. If you're not in Christ. That's it right there. If you're not in Christ, you're nothing. And if you're in Christ, you understand that you don't want to be nothing. Because not Christ world. doesn't have nothing. Because this world is now. He doesn't have like, nothing. Whether he represented a white man or a black man. He had a he donkey. He God. He gave up everything. In fact, he came from glory where he had everything to come down to a world where we think we glorify his face with cars, women, sex, money, power, respect. And show them you can have money, power, respect with God because this world is going down in the hand back there. Luke chapter 16, the rich man and the poor man, which people don't want to deal with. The rich man had everything. It's all a trick. Because, you know why? Because okay. God is the ruler. Really? But God is the ruler. God is the ruler. However, God only allows the devil to do certain things. So, God is the ruler. God is the ruler. Uh-huh. So when somebody says that, see, 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 some people, they claim that they know God is the ruler and all that. Right. But a true knower, is an eight on him. Yeah. A true knower knows that understand that if it is a God, whether he's one person, a spirit, or individual, or however, a, a whole bunch of people, uh-huh. which is a whole bunch of people because the scripture already says. Right. When, you, when, when, when he gets into that group of people, Right. And they become the body of Christ. Right. right. Okay, boom. We know that it's a time, it's only a time frame for the devil. Right. The devil is on borrowed time. Right. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, be careful your adversary, the devil comes down with great anger because he knows he has not lost. Right. And that's what, that's the least thing that's being preached. Right. But that's the best thing to tell people because right. that would change. Even an atheist. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's 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 right, she's the thing. Because nobody in certain key words bring out the spirit of certain people. Uh, okay. oh, right. Exactly. Right. exactly. So as right. a teacher, uh-huh. what we want to use is the, the, the strong, strong, the strongest scriptures that, or, or not of how we want to right. as the, the base. Uh-huh. To draw the the, the magnetized the the right. It ain't even a challenge because when when you 
Well, you have to challenge their mind. Because they have to challenge their mind. They don't want to listen to me, so you have to challenge their mind. So that they will challenge their mind. And they'll say, I ain't doing it for you, I'm doing it for my dad. That's what we want. Exactly. That's what we want. So we don't care how we get the results or what they call it, long as you start thinking. Because who are you saving? Save yourself. Right? You, you will come back to me and say thank you. And if you don't, you still in your conscience and you're going to say, wow, that brother made me think. Yeah, you say. You may never tell me thank you. But you say me right? yourself. But if you call on God, I did my job. Praise the Lord. But, but, but if, you, if you don't call on God, I still did my job. But you, but you do God. Well, if you do God, See, that's you call on God, God. But, but this is what I'm trying to say. Calling on God has... See, see what people have done is made the Christianity thing look like a witchcraft. That's why even some of the people who want to follow Christianity don't do it. Because people make it seem like more of a magic thing, witchcraft thing, something that you can tap into and stuff like that. When you can just first, you can easily let them know what... Don't even, don't even act like you want to call. You want to be an atheist? Don't even call him. Just, just study and learn a little bit. You can call him right into it. See, but people ain't using that. They sell the con. That's love for God. If you would take us, if you would con somebody right into it, that's love. But to give them the meat right from the scripture, it's almost like these jokers are never going to understand how to scramble that because the education system. But that's why the, 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 the devil had already implemented ways of life to so where it's going to be so hard for you to come to the knowledge of the truth. Right. It's almost impossible. But that's why you got different types of professors and teachers who, who care enough to just scramble it for you to say, hold on, I understand what you're saying. You having a problem. Let me help you to scramble it. And if they would just listen, but even them. Won't tell you. They won't tell you. Why? Well, because yeah. somebody don't kill him. Yeah, but sometimes some people you put know? their life on the line. You got people that put their life on the line. You got to. Right. You got to. That's what Jesus told us. You put your life on the line. Because why? Because the truth is being held back. Right. For the what? The benefit of, of the buyers and the, the sellers. Exactly. Because the buyers. taken out of the temple. You take and the buyers and take them. 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 The priests. The and the Pharisees, the scribes, the Stoics, the Epicureans, the elitists. The, 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 the people, 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 the you know what I mean? I mean the new temple is the church. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? So now when you come in, you got a new breed, you gotta have a new strong spirit. This is why sometimes I don't that's why I do house services. That's why I do community services. That's why I do outside the church. Because if you step into a man's organization, church of God, Christ, Baptist, Catholic, they held back by Man, right? Mm -hmm. So if you stand up there and you don't say exactly what they want you to say, they you out. They, you blackball. They calling on the phone. Even if they grin up in your face because they know you're right, they don't want to say you're wrong. If they're not like that, they might say, oh, amen, all right. So when you, when you get out of the church, they done call the uh, back. <laughs> don't let that joker back in your church, man. He going to tear your church up. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't going to make no money. Not if you're about money. You know what I mean? But then if they find out that you're not about money, but you're about schooling the people, they're they, they, they they not going to make no money. They ain't going to invite you back. Right. Because they like money you. Money took over because even the people who ain't about the money, they would rather shut up and act like they ain't do nothing. They don't want to hurt my They ain't doing nothing. Right. They, they hurt. They hurt. Right. First Timothy 6 and 10, the love of money is the root of mm -hmm. all evil. Because while some seek after it, they condemn themselves and condemn other men. I mean, some people, may not, they're not going to heaven and they're blocking the door from other people. And this is the condemnation. Mm -hmm. That the people in the dark didn't want the, the light they of the dark rather than the light, light because their deeds were evil. Their deeds were evil. Right. So since their deeds were evil, they didn't want nobody showing them up and that's what Jesus was doing. And they didn't even want to look at it themselves. They didn't want to be like, they didn't want to get in a position where like, I, I got to change. Remind, don't remind me I'm a 
criminal. Exactly. Yeah, no Let me be all right. I became conditioned to being a criminal. Being a criminal God loves life. everybody anyway. That's what they say. God loves everybody. Why should I have to change? He loves me anyway. And if I live to the last moment, I'll just say, oh, forgive me, God. You know what I say to them? I said, like, you going straight to hell, bro. Because <laughs> that's how I got into it with the first thing. Right, right. These jokers be like, God love everybody. Right. I'll be like, God love everybody. The question is, why are y'all cutting people's heads off it? Why are you praying five times a day? You're trying to get up and help you do for God's kids. Because no, they're trying to take over the world. Yeah, and you can't yeah, make this understand. They think they right. know something. That they don't know. Matthew 16. And he says, they will kill you and think they do think they do for God, God, sir. How are you killing for God? And people don't have no guns in their hand and they talk about the Christ that's in your Quran. And he said they will kill you. Said they, yeah, and Jesus said that. They killed Christ. Yeah, they killed him. Right. After he was killed already, already Revelation, then he got killed. Right. Revelation 20 and 4. He said, I beheld those that were beheaded for the witness of Christ. John. And, and uh, on the Isle of Pain. That's in Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. Yeah. Then we the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Going back to the brothers of Jesus. He's not a brother. Yes. Right, but he was the one that came from heaven. That's why they couldn't understand him. They said, we know your father. But, but well, we don't, we don't understand God, you. He said, but he was the one that came from heaven. Right. Now, watch this. Me and you sitting here, right? Right. We build it like this, right? Right. Just, just say you was my pop. Okay. And, and I had siblings, other brothers and sisters. You know what I'm right, right. But they haven't learned what I learned because I'm saying, missing. You're saying metaphorically, I'll I say you're from, came from God. Right, I right. Came from God. Right, well, that would be like Cain and Abel because Cain and Abel didn't come from heaven, but well, one of them represented the, heaven. Yeah, they did. Right, Cain, Abel represented heaven, but the evil one, Cain, killed his brother. Why? Because he couldn't stand the righteousness that was in his brother. His brother didn't do nothing wrong for him, but God came to him before he did that. What's wrong with you? He showed them if you he manifest he what he was, said, right, but he you said, see he told them, he said, said, listen, you hate I it. see what you're thinking about your brother. I'm going to warn you before I do it because sin is at the door. All you got to do is what's right. But rather than do what's right because it takes an extra when the devil is in, you got to get the devil out. And that's what's happening. When you start building with people, now you start finding manifest God and manifest devil. Because you can't see the devil and you can't see God until you open up your eyes and see the evil and see the good. And then as your mind amplifies, then you see God and you see devil because it's manifested through human you beings. You put your glasses on. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you, you start to wear the glasses. So Jesus now. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And if no, no man can come to God except through Jesus Christ. So that's the mantra that I keep in my head, no matter who I'm dealing with. They don't say that. That's in John 14 and 6. But by me. But by me. No man can come to the Father but by me. So, so, and then he said in John chapter 5, he said, if other men represent themselves, you accept them. But you won't come to me that you might have life. He said in John 5 and 39, search the scriptures because in them you think you have, you have life. But in those scriptures that you think you have life, they testify of me. Me. But you won't come to me. You'll come to Muhammad. You'll come to Sigmund Freud. You'll come to Aristotle, Plato, Socrates. You'll come to Malcolm. You'll come to Mark. Alison Crowley. You'll come to Alison Crowley and whoever else. Uh, Charles Manson and whoever else, right? But you won't come to me that you might have life. Because they see the Deal with the truth. <laughs> the truth. Be it, go it back any man who confesses that he is the Christ will be put out. Right, but watch this. He said they, they were in dark because their deeds were evil. You know that right now. Right. He made a witness that he is the Christ. Uh huh. Praise the Lord on this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is the answer. This is the philosophy uh, that we deal with and also the truth. Some going to accept it, some not going to accept it. But remember, on Christ the solid rock is what it is. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. What was the Lord that made us and not we ourselves? Remember, you don't have to accept it, but you have been told that Jesus Christ is the way, is the truth, is the life. John chapter 14 and uh, verse 6. 
and no man, no man, no man, that means you or I or anyone else, whether big man, little man, rich man, poor man, intelligent man, ignorant man, no man can come to the Father except through Jesus. Now, you do what you want with it, but that's the way it is. Amen. And if you don't believe it, you don't have to. We only can share it. I only can share it with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that somebody gets Jesus in their heart, that they change to be a better man, a better woman, a better person in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that they get the light from heaven shining on them through Jesus Christ, and that they become born again and not be damned and condemned to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.